What's going on guys, Bank Rubber Games here, more Fallout 3, A Tale of Two Wastelands, and for the last couple of episodes now, and this episode we're going to be making our way through a quest mod that we've downloaded, called A Tale of Crumbs, and um, yeah, it's been quite cool so far, taking us to locations that I haven't explored for a very long time, which does, which is the point on the mod on the page, that is what the uh, author said the point of it was. So it's definitely living up to it. But at the locations we have visited, there have been quite a few skill books. So it definitely seems like it's been worth uh, going, following this quest. I'm pretty sure going through this location there is actually a unique flamethrower. Get. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that guy wasn't aware of us, considering what the noise we just made. Now, I'm not sure if it's down here. I'll just have a quick look to see if I can find out where the unique flamethrower is. Uh, I was going to get a later point anyway. If it is down here, I'll uh, 
go get it quick. But if not, we'll just carry on following the quest marker. So there is the flamethrower that I thought it, there was uh, in this next area. They are going to pick it up quickly because it is very powerful.
It's right back in this container here, along with a nuclear code of quantum and a lot of ammo. There is that bone master flamey you can see in the distance there. And in base Fallout 3, it basically is a normal flamethrower with the Pyromania pack. Pyromaniac perk built in. So it is very powerful. But I'm not sure if in a Tale of Two Wastelands they've fixed that so you can increase the damage with the Pyromania perk as well. I'm not 100% sure. See, it does do pretty good damage over time. Quite a fun weapon, if you like any sort of flame based weapons. Uh, we're just gonna go back and start following the uh, quest marker again. just thought about getting the burn master because normally you do have to sort of go out your way to get it but seeing as we already we were already close then we may as well pick it up because it is quite a cool weapon and I do always forget how to get it Paul's Church Metro is pretty cool. There is a side quest you can do here, speaking to the uh, Brotherhood of Steel members to uh, rescue one of their brothers that has become trapped in a nearby location. Stranger, I thank you for your aid. We must... We were performing a training exercise with one of the initiates when we were cut off by the super mutants. 
We saw him flee into a building up ahead during the attack, but before we could link up with him, we were pushed back. Now that we've cleared this area, we can press forward and attempt to recover the initiate. I only pray that he is unharmed. Typical. You wasteland dog. 100 caps is all I can offer. He's had enough training that he should know that when facing overwhelming odds, I suspect that he is making a stand inside of that building. Excellent. We will advance forward slowly until we make contact with the mutants and clear. Once that space is under our control, we will hold position while you enter and recover the initiate. Then, you both should evac to the exterior. You will receive your payment when the initiate is returned to us alive. Let's move out. So yeah, here's the building with the unmarked quest. I did have a little bit of a suspicion that it was actually LOB Enterprises. Hey. Where we have to go to speak with Paladin Horse. To get this rescue this initiate. Don't be so anxious, Merc. Get our man, then you'll get your pick. And this is just quite a cool unmarked. Uh, location this. Someone's come. You have to help me, please. Oh, thank God. Paladin Hoss sent you, didn't he? I knew he wouldn't leave me behind. When they attacked, we were cut off so quickly. My gun jammed, and I never even got a shot off. I couldn't do anything but hide. Sure, I guess. Can you fix it? Wow. That's... That's easy. Now at least I can shoot back at those mutant bastards. Are you ready? Right behind you.
morning. Good. He is safe. The Brotherhood are men of their word, and so here is your payment. Spend it well. Farewell, mercenary. So for 100 caps, that's not actually too bad. It's a nice quick little objective to complete. We want to go over to LOB Enterprises. I don't actually remember that location at all. being some loot here somewhere. Might have gone into LOB Enterprises at some point. I definitely can't remember it. I think this might actually be where a unique Chinese pistol is. If I remember correctly, there is actually a unique uh, nine mil Chinese pistol here, or uh, it was ten mil in Fallout Three, but been changed to nine millimeter in Tally Two Wastelands. But there are also a lot more uh, robotic enemies. Sarah as well.
See, there are the archives there to follow the map marker, but I'm pretty sure the unique uh, Chinese pistol is actually in this sort of part of the building.
I'm pretty sure if you hack into this terminal, you get a clue about the um, pistol that we're after. be how you open this door if you haven't got very hard lock picking. So I thought it got changed to 9mm along with the other Chinese pistols but it didn't, it does remain being 10mm. I'm not sure if it actually gets fixed by the Pyromaniac perk either because um, it does like fire damage over time along with the regular gun damage which is pretty cool. So concentrated fire is a really good perk to have. It basically gives you five plus five percent accuracy every time you target a limb in vats, uh, sort of multiple times. And also do action boy as well to give us some more action points. In Tally Two Wastelands, it gets given a new look as well with that sort of unique barrel and the flammable sign on the uh, side of it there. And uh, yeah, it basically has incendiary rounds. It's not actually very powerful in base Fallout 3, from what I remember. I think they have improved it a little bit though in a tail of two wasteland so it's a little bit more useful and because we're using a mod called lumen that adds um, ambient lighting along with the energy visuals plus I think it's called um, it will sort of light up areas um, wherever the bullets land. Yeah, it turns out I have been to into LOB Enterprises. Let's get the zoo wrong before. Zoo wrong? Yeah, zoo wrong. But now we've moved down into where the uh, quest marker is, I'm going to end this episode here because it has been a bit of a longer episode. But thank you very much for watching. hope you guys have enjoyed it and been enjoying the series as well. If you have been enjoying the series and been finding it useful with the fact that we have got quite a few skill books and um, some unique weapons as well the last couple of episodes, like and subscribe for more and then that way you won't miss out on anything. And any mods that I've mentioned throughout the video, including this quest mod that we're playing now that's taking us to all these locations, will be linked down in the description below, so you can download that and use that yourself if you're interested. But thanks again for watching, always appreciate having you guys here, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.